There are dozens of people gathered at Reed Park today in protest against the zoo expansion. According to Tucson City Council members, this multi-million dollar project has been in the works for years. News 4 Tucson's Austin Walker reports. Here at News 4 Tucson, we've been following this story from the very beginning. People say the Reed Park Zoo expansion is disrespectful, but the city council says there have been dozens of meetings where people could have come out to make their voices heard. Regardless, they're at a standstill. We just don't think that people are thinking. Manon Getsy and hundreds of others flooded Reed Park Sunday afternoon in protest against the Reed Park Zoo expansion, ultimately taking away 3.5 acres of park space from the public, including the Duck Pond and Barnum Hill. What are we going to do if they take it? To Getsy, this space is full of more than just grass, but cherished memories. I've, I'm hearing stories from and have photos of people who had their weddings right there, <laughs> you know, who take their their graduation photos here who met their husband here memories happening all under the shaded canopy of dozens of bottled brush trees planted and developed by Jean Reed over 50 years ago so they're going to destroy um, this beautiful area Sunday his daughter Pam Reed speaks out saying this is not what her dad would have wanted and if he were here today oh my god <laughs> it wouldn't go well as the drums continue to ring, we touched base with Councilman Steve Kazachik during the demonstration. Well, their voices have been heard. He says the council has another plan in place hoping to accommodate the community. Uh, I'm already working with the city manager and our parks director on identifying an alternate location to put in new amenities. A water feature will be eliminating some of the asphalt to expand the turf area. So we're going to provide an amenity that's superior to what's there already. Getty says she hopes these signs and flags speak volume and the council reconsiders their decision, leaving Reed Park the way it's been for decades. Destroying wildlife to save wildlife makes no sense. Councilmember Kazachik says the zoo brings in over half a million people every single year, so an expansion is needed, but people wonder if there is a different option. We've got you covered from the north side. I'm Austin Walker, News for Tucson.